Question number 2. Two machines A and B working independently can take 8 hours and 10 hours respectively to do a task. That machine C and machine A working together can do the same task in 5 hours. Determine the time it will take the machine I take machine B and C working together to do the same task. So there is a question. We start with the first sentence. Uh, two machines A and B working independently can take 8 hours and 10 hours respectively to do a task. So machine A machine A take 8 hours and then machine B will take 10 hours and then there is a uh, third machine C and machine A so we're not given uh, the exact time that machine C will take so we let machine C to take x hours now the next statement uh, but before we go to that we can first uh, work the first statement two machines A and B working independently can take eight hours and 10 hours to do that task so we need to ask ourselves what about in one hour so in one hour in one hour machine a will take will do one over eight of the work the work then b b this is uh, for machine a so for b uh, B in one hour in an hour it will do one over ten one over ten of the work that is for machine B then for machine C in one hour it will do one over X of the work that is uh, for machine C now having these we'll be able to now work out uh, easily we given the next statement that a third machine C and machine A working together can do the same task in five hours. So C and A, C and A. So we have noted. Let's begin with A. A in one hour will do one over eight of the work. So what about in five hours? So in five hours, need to write here. So in five hours, A. A will do we just need to multiply one over eight times five we'll do five over eight of the work then in five hours in five hours C uh, remember in one hour C is doing one of uh, X of the work so in five hours we just multiply this one by five it will do five over X so this is um, machine A and C and both of them can complete that work in five hours in five hours so when the work is complete it will be one as a whole so we can say therefore that a that is uh, doing five over eight of the work in five hours and c which is uh, doing five over x will complete the work in five hours so when work, the work is complete we indicate that one as a whole one so by this we'll be able to get the number of hours that we'll see that c will take to do the work and um, to simplify these uh, this one will give give you work out value of x here so this will be the lcm is 8x cm will be 8x then this will be 5x plus 40 is equals to 1. So just do this one quickly and you'll get x from here. Uh, 5x plus 40 divided by 8x. You cross multiply, you get 5x plus 40 is equals to 8x. When you work for x, you get for this one is uh, 40 is equals to 3x and x will be 40 over 3 so x is the time taken 
by C to do the work. So C will do the work using 40 over 3 hours. 40 over 3 hours. Now having done that, now look at the next statement. Determine the time it will take machine B and C working together to do the same job. So now we are looking at B and C. Let's assume that machine B and C will take, both of them will take, uh, let's say, Y hours. We'll complete the work in Y hours. So since we have uh, B taking 10 hours, so in one hour, B will do 1 over 10 of the work. So what about in Y hours? I repeat that. In one hour, B will do 1 over 10 of the work. What about in y hours? Just multiply 1 over 10 times y. It will do 1 y over 10. Then C. C. Uh, here you need to be very careful. C in 1 hour. D is taking 40 over 3 hours. 40 over 3 hours. So meaning that in 1 hour. In 1 hour. C will do 3 over 40. The work. 3 over 40 of the work. You need to be very keen here when you're working out these. So we have obtained that C will take 40 over 3 hours. So in 1 hour, we just do it as 1 over X. And X is 40 over 3. So in 1 hour, it will do 3 over 40. Just to 1 over X, where X is 40 over 3. So in 1 hour, C will do 3 over 40 of the work. What about in Y hours? This is the time that will be used by B and C to complete the work. Just multiply 3 over 40 times Y, which will give you 3 over 40, 3 over 40 Y. And these two, B and C, working together, will complete the work. And we've said when the work is complete, it is one, it is a whole. So B and C, will use y hours and uh, they will complete the work so both of them will do the whole work which is the whole work is represented by one so now we need to work uh, for y and y will be the solution it will represent the time it will take uh, b and c to complete the work so we add these y divided by 10 plus 3 over 40 so you just use a calculator and add 1 over 10 plus 3 over 40 1 over 10 plus 3 over 40 that will give you 7 over 40 and it is y so y over 10 plus 3 over 40 y you get 7 over 40 y which is equals to 1 so from here you want to remain with the y so multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 7 over 40 and uh, y will be when you multiply 7 over 40 times 40 over 7, you get y. And this will give you 40 divided by 7. 40 divided by 7 uh, is 5. And 5 over 7 hours. So that is uh, the time that will be taken by B and C working together to do that job.